What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we are going to be having a look on how you can transform this at the moment boring looking default version of the Dawn theme and we're gonna transform it into something like this. We're gonna create a branded store called Gator containing all these lovely looking sections right here and in this video I'm gonna cover how you can design exactly a store like this. Also, you can customize those sections to your likings and definitely stick around until the end because I have a little hack for you about the Dawn theme I'm pretty sure you didn't know about. And yeah, I'd say we just get right into it. The first thing I did for this is that I downloaded the section store app where I got all the sections from I used in this tutorial. It's a non-subscription app, so don't worry about that. You just have to pay one time for the sections you're using in this one. And yeah, the Next thing I did for it is that I head on and over to this little spot right here, the online store. And here I will open up the one store you just saw. So we're gonna start completely from scratch with this store right here. And we're gonna click on customize right there. This is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. And the first thing I would like to get started with is the header, because let's be honest, this doesn't look too nice at the moment. So I'm gonna click on this little theme settings thing right here. And the first thing I would like to change is the logo because every good branded store starts with a nice looking logo. And I designed just a little fun for this tutorial. What is really important is that you have a primary color, which is going to get repeated in the store the whole time. So customers have something they can kind of remember onto. And it's also gonna build the identity of a brand. So I think that one is really important to have. And after this one loaded up, we can continue with the whole set out of the header. Another thing I would like to change is actually the font we are using in this whole thing. Here, I wanna have the Josephine Sons for the body and just the normal version. So here we wanna have it in regular. And let's change this back again. Here we would like to have it in bold. Perfect. Now we can pretty much get started. And now I wanna rearrange the logo as well, because I do think it is looking a bit small at the moment. So let's pump it up to 200 pixels. This will look way nicer. Let's make sure we always save up our work. And on the whole header layout, I would also like to make a change. And that is going to be to arrange the whole logo and the font in the middle of that whole thing, because I do think it stands out a lot more. Yeah, this is looking way nice already. Let's just save our changes up for now and continue with the first sections. And that is going to be the hero one, one of the section star sections. Let's just type it in right here. That is the one I do wanna see in there. And here, the first thing I would like to do is of course to upload an image to the whole thing. So you can also use it as a slideshow, but I'm simply gonna use it as a hero banner for this tutorial. So, and here we have our first section already. And before actually using it like that, I would like to make some customizations to it. So we're gonna click on the main block itself. And here I wanna have the alignment in the center actually. This is looking way nicer. The font size is something I would like to change. Let's see how it's looking on desktop. This is looking really nice already, but I do want to have the regular version of the font actually. So it's getting a bit thinner. I think it looks more subtle like that. Let's remove this one. So the focus is just going to get on that one. And instead of two buttons, I just want to have one and we're going to type in shop sneakers right here. The whole store is of course fictional, so I'm not gonna link any products to it, but I'm pretty sure you know how this works. And to make it stand out a bit more, maybe we're gonna make it in caps lock. Yeah, this is looking good. And to also make sure the people will recognize our colors again, we're gonna change the, the button text color. Oh, sorry, that was the first one. Um, the button text color to the blue as well. So yeah, that pretty much brings us to the finished version of the first section. And this is looking pretty nice already in my opinion. Maybe we can make the font even a bit bigger. Let's scroll up again. There we have a title size. Let's maybe pump it up all the way to 100. Ah, maybe a little bit smaller. We don't wanna have it to break to the other row. Yeah, this is looking perfectly fine. Cool. Um, save it up again. 
and continue with the next section which is going to be the scrolling announcement bar this is going to be a fast one we just have to drag it up here click on it remove that line right here otherwise it would always be on the very top save it up so you can see what i'm talking about and here i would also like to change the section background so we get something like this and also here as well i would like to use a custom font so if we save it up you know what i'm talking about again so here we see it and already you can see we get this sort of brand feeling to the store and now i would like to continue with the next section which is going to be the image grid pro where we're gonna fill this one with our first sections and here i would like to remove all the layouts all the gaps so we don't want to have any paddings right here so all the sections stick to each other all the little blocks right here and now we also want to remove one so we only have three products let's save it up for now and another thing i would like to have is the text and the button on the left top right here actually i think it's something i haven't seen too much before but i do think it looks quite nice because people are not really used to that and also i want to change the image ratio to to square same as desktop and as on mobile and let's just fill it with content real quick i have three little shoes right here i would like to chug in there that is number one number two and number three you could also use this section for collections but i do think it looks quite nice for products as well and now i want to change the text here real quick to just random names i will make up for this hero and the last one is going to be the walker and here I also would like to have a bit less of that um, shadow right here. So the contrast is going to be better. And in return, I'm just gonna switch the, the font color into the blue I already used for the other one. So this is gonna stand out quite nice. And here for the button, I would like to do the same. So we have our little brand repetition again and once again the opacity i'm gonna put it to one so you can see it a little bit because i do think it gives it quite a nice contrast and also i'm gonna give it a little of border thickness so we have this so it definitely pops out a bit more and now i want to remove all the paddings which are currently inside the section so nothing here so it's gonna directly connect with that one and maybe even have the border in the same color as the rest let's just look for this card border color there we have it and this is looking perfectly fine save it up again and round it all up with our last section which is going to be one of our footer sections right here here we have to do some pre-work to the footer and that is going to be to change the theme so we're gonna throw it in here one last thing we have to do with the actual theme for this one let's click on it and the colors it's this one right here we want the text to be in white and there we have it and also the footer should be right underneath that and now i'm going to show you one nice little hack i just learned a couple of days ago and that is that you can add actual sections which are custom coded underneath the footer or inside the footer and one i do think is looking really nice for that it's called text block pro also from the section store so let's just chuck it in it's going to be that one and we're just gonna need the section title for this one so let's get rid of all the other ones and here we're gonna throw in the name of our store which is gator looking nice already and the title size we're gonna pump it up all the way to 200 so it's definitely gonna scream our brand and that is looking nice already scroll down switch title color to white actually and i want to have the background color in the same color as that other block right here let's scroll down section background is going to be in that color as well and now the only thing i would like to do is to have it a little bit of less padding and now with the paddings adjusted i would like to switch those two actually 
so we can be sure the footer comes first and here you can add all your links and stuff like that and the last thing i would like to do in the image grid pro we still see a little bit of padding and the bottom i would have it all connected and yeah that is pretty much it i'd say we just let this load up and have a final look at it in the live version and then i can show you what we did with the score we can all sum it up again pretty much we made out of the boring looking dawn theme something which is definitely screaming a brand we built a little sneaker store for ourselves i think it's a really good foundation if you want to build your own drop shipping store or whatever you prefer and yeah in less than 10 15 minutes we already have ourselves something which is looking pretty nice and yeah i hope you guys liked that and if you did always feel free to leave a like and follow and with that being said have a good one guys and peace out